a lot of people have asked me to talk about a talk with Ra. Some people even message me to see if I buy or if I sell a talk. So because of that, I decided to make a full tutorial video where I show you how to withdraw a talk from your a talk application into your wallet and then how to swap it. Because a lot of you don't know that a talk has an official site where you simply go connect your wallet and swap your tokens. That is after you must have to drone it from your a talk app into the wallet. So if you want to know how to do this, it's something simple. I've already made a video on this. The first video is showing you how to withdraw from your ATOC app into your wallet. Then the second video is now showing you how you get to swap. And in that swap video, I showed you three different methods as getting to how to swap your ATOC token. But that aside, a lot of you has been participating in mining this ATOC and you're probably expecting an airdrop from it. But there are some key details that you have not checked. During the course of making that withdrawal video, I did a little bit of research on the ATOC token where I got to their smart contract page. I did a little bit of audit on their smart contract and I noticed a lot of red flags. Some of these red flags include the fact that ATOC is supposed to get listed on Binance blockchain, which is BNB. Quite all right, it's on the blockchain. It's supposed to be decentralized. But then it is still a centralized system on the blockchain. And the reason is because on their smart contract, ATOC has the ability to lock your wallet. So let's say, for instance, you withdraw your ATOC from your ATOC app into your wallet right now. ATOC has the ability to lock your wallet such that you will not be able to transfer your tokens. So imagine withdrawing your ATOC and then ATOC sees you and be like, this wallet, we don't want it to withdraw. They have the ability to lock your wallet. You cannot send it out. If you've been in this space for quite a while, you've been hearing of something called Honeypot. This is exactly how Honeypot works. You are able to withdraw your tokens or let's say, for instance, you are able to buy into tokens because if you go to that ATOC swap website, you see that you are able to swap your USDT into ATOC. So imagine picking your USDT, swapping it into ATOC and then ATOC restrict your wallet from sending. That is a Honeypot. You could put your money, but you can't take out your money. I personally see no reason as to why they should give themselves such permission and when I noticed this, I even had to send them a message on X, which I'm still waiting for a response to that. But then, that is basically by the way. This is not to say that the project is a scam, but then it has potential to scam the community if they decide to go rogue tomorrow. Another thing I noticed again from the smart contract is that they give the admins, they give themselves a lot of permissions. Like, they have the ability to do a lot of things. And some of these things, I won't address them in that video, so I'm just going to skip this part. But another thing I noticed again is that about four wallets is holding most of the supply. One wallet is holding about 46% of the total supply. Other wallet, or let's say two other wallets is holding, I think, 30-30. Then one wallet is holding 1%. It is understandable because when I checked the wallet, I saw that three wallets are contract wallets. That simply means that that is where the token is being held currently. Maybe that is what they are even dropping to the community. When the community decides to withdraw that token, that is part of what they got and they likes and basically that. But the wallet that is holding the highest supply, which is 46%, has no label. They did not put any label, whether it is a contract, whether the supply is locked, or for which purpose that wallet is holding the token. So, some of these things, ATOC is not listed yet, but I think these things are red flags and these things are things that need to be looked into. But then, we're going to stop here for today. And like I've said, this does not mean that ATOC is going to be a scam, but it has the potential if it decides to go rogue. And that is basically it. Now, if you want to buy or sell any coins like Pi coins, Cedra coins, Ruby coins, you can send me a DM. Or you basically want to learn about Web3, the crypto space, the blockchain technology and the likes. And maybe any of these terms that you've been hearing, you can send me a DM or you can use the link on my profile to join my Telegram channel where you can stay in touch for more updates. And as always, don't forget to follow me on X because that's where I do drop posts on my updates, even before I make videos on them.